Hey everybody, it's Super Wolf we got welcome back. Oh my god, the sun is beaming down today. Wow. Welcome to Welcome to <laughs> Actually, yeah, am I right? Welcome to another episode of Wind Waker HD in the Wait a minute. Welcome back to m some more. Yeah, I don't I, f I completely forgot my intro then. Welcome back to some more The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. In the last episode, we rescued a mysterious girl from the top of the mountains on Outset Island. We also got our shield from Grandma, and we also got the sword from Orca. And in this episode, we are going to be heading on out now. But one thing that I forgot to say, I really forgot that I have my bait bag now, uh, which is in my lovely inventory, which you guys cannot see yet. There's my bait. I'm going to go ahead and put some of that on X. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and continue on our adventure. Wow, that's a de decrypted gold shield. Are you sure you can still use that thing? Are you going to get splinters and cry? Shut up. I'm a I'm a tough boy. Well, whatever. If you're ready, then let's go. Are you ready? Of course I am. Let's go save our sister. Good luck, SWG! Good luck finding Ariel! Take care of yourself! Ugh, how much longer is this going to go on, do you think? Do you have an estimate? Are you sure you shouldn't just quit right now? Seriously, think about it. I can tell you're just going to get more sentimental from here on out. There's still time, you know. Are you sure we shouldn't just turn around and take you back to your island? Um, Tetra? I, 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 I want to go back. Where the hell are we? <laughs> Where is our island? Yeah, uh, I didn't really say, but this girl is named Tetra. Don't look at me like that. Gonzo! Stop rotating the thing like I'm going to be seasick. Um, so what we're going to be doing now is we could meet all of the, um, the crew, but I really don't want to. Especially this kid. I never talked to him and I really don't want to. He looks like freaking E.Gad and he actually has the same glasses. Is that E.Gad? He looks seriously like E.Gad from the uh, Luigi's Mansion series. Or uh, I think he's out of Luigi... Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. Something. I don't know. I've never played them games and I don't want to. Anyway, um, here is... Miss Tetra's private quarters. Uh, this is Miss Tetra's cabin. Most of us real pirates aren't even allowed in here. That's no way we're letting outsiders in. Don't you even think about it. Let me just have a look in there. See what I can find. I can see a Triforce. Oh. And I can also see the Hero of Wind. Cool. And what else can I see? I can see a lamp and the best belt buckle in the world. All right, whatever. It's taking way too long to do this. Anyway, let's go and see Nico. Oh, well now, ahoy there, swabby, as of today, <clears throat> I am your superior, Nico. Now I promise I'll go easy on you, so do as I say, okay? Right, now, first of all, you take out the new test that the pirates have to take. It's a bit of a doozy, so get ready. You watch everything I'm about to show you, real careful-like, so you can cram it in with no doubt mushy swabby brain. Oh. Cram it into, Jesus. Alright, so first of all, we've obviously got to step on the switch. I know how to step on switches, Nico. Jesus Christ. Your belt buckle is not as good as the pirates upstairs. Yours is only silver. You've got a little knife as well. Now check it out. All the platforms rise off of the floor. you got to jump on them. Of course we have. And your tooth is amazing. What do you use on that, coal gaze? <laughs> okay, uh, jump into the first one myself. But the next one is too far, right? That's when you got to do this. 
If you jump onto the rope, we don't care. <laughs> I really don't. So, um, that's basically it. Uh, so, do you think you know how to do it? You have to swing from platform to platform and try and get to the entrance of the room over there. I'm going to see if I can do it uh, on the first go. I mean, when I did my uh, GameCube Let's Play of this, I sucked so much, I couldn't even make it. It took me, like, ten minutes to do. I'll probably, it'll take you probably at least one year before you're good enough to make it all the way here. One rough year, one tough year, full of bumps and bruises. Uh, of course, if you manage to do it faster, I'll reward you. Well, thanks, Nico. You're an ever such a nice fellow. Alright. Jump onto here. And jump! I, I nearly missed that. I nearly missed it. Alright, this is pretty easy because uh, Link is... He is, like, really uh, good at jumping. <laughs> and... I'm really good at controlling him! Jesus Christ, I, of course I fall. I didn't... I, I wasn't good. <laughs> There's, when you're hanging on the rope, yes, we can also change directions while hanging on the ropes. Um, but that's nothing that I need to use yet. Uh, we will have to do later in the game. Uh, maybe I should just go for another run of this. If you jump too early, then you're obviously going to screw yourself over because... He just won't make the jump, but I'm really making it now. I hope the... I literally can't hear the time, so if it's clicking now... Um, oh, cool, I made it. That was really... If, if it was clicking, like, ready to the platforms to go down... What? You did it already? On oh, my second try, Nico. Um, I wouldn't be able to hear it because I haven't got my sound on, so I can't hear the game. I, I'm proud of you as my underling. I did it in, like, two goes, Nico. How long did it take you? Two years? I, I wonder if it's okay to give that to him. I don't see why not. I doubt I'll get busted. All right, Swabby. I'll tell you what. You can have the treasure in the chest over there. It's your reward from the great and generous Nico. Oh, my God. Hurry and take it before someone comes. Okay, I will do, Nico. You're a very, very swell friend. Thank you, Swabby. Let's go ahead. Wait, is there, like, loads of rupees in these barrels? No. Okay. Let's just go ahead and take a treasure chest. We got the spoils pack. I was going to say spoils pouch, and then I said spoils pag. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> it's the spoils bag. Uh, you can hold d d eight different kinds of items in it. SGS, WG, we've reached a forsaken fort. That was quick. Mustn't be that far from outset, right? All right, Nico. Thank you very much for having me as your swabby. One day, hopefully, we will meet again. Not really. I Hopefully, I won't. But, <laughs> you know... I really don't want to meet him again. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and head on out. So there's a little interesting thing that I actually want to talk about here. How long are we? Only 10 minutes? I guess we could do a bit of the Forsaken Fortress um, in this episode. Because there's something that I want to talk about. Not quite yet, but it'll be in a minute. <laughs> hey, SWG, here I am. I'm up here. Okay, of course. Let's climb the crow's nest and let's go see what uh, Tetra's got to say. God, look at them constellations. That is fantastic. It's beautiful, actually. All right, there's something I'm going to be talking about after this cutscene, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. What were you doing with Nico? Don't tell me you were playing some stupid game for treasure, were you? Well, whatever. There's something you need to see. Have a look over there. That's the cursed isle known as the Forsaken Fortress. There are all sorts of strange rumours about this place. What I do know is that long ago, it was used as a hideout of a no-good group of pirates we used to compete with. But they were just small time. Now the place looks pretty dangerous. Ah, I knew it. Look. Over there. By that window. Have you ever seen so many seagulls flock like that before? I'll bet you anything that's a place where they've got your sister locked up. But it looks like the whole place is under really tight guard. This won't work. We'd be spotted before we even got anywhere near landing there. Hmm. What do we do now? Look, don't struggle if you really want to get into a dangerous place like that. This is the only way to do it. Trust me. 
We pirates do this all the time. Don't worry about it. It'll be a piece of cake. Is everybody ready? Never you fear, kid. We're pros. We're going to launch you good. Three. Two. One. You sword landed all the way up there? Shoot, I'm sorry, I apologize. I guess my aim was a little off. Heh <laughs> the look on your face, priceless. <laughs> I slid the stone into your pocket just before we fired you over there. It's no ordinary stone either. I can see what you're doing through this stone, and obviously you can hear me through it, so if you press A, you better press that button. If you put the stone on your quest data screen... Wait, she's put the stone on our... Uh, our quest data screen, whatever. Hey, but listen carefully, I need this back after you save your sister, so don't go losing it, understand? Alright then, down to brass tacks. The courtyard is awash with searchlights, so they'll be on. They'll see you right away if you just go charging in. Better think it through. Okay, so um, one thing I want to talk about is my brother. Uh, he says that he wanted me to say it at the beginning of this episode. Well, it is now the end of the episode because, I don't know. It's not the end of the episode quite yet, but... Um, What he wanted me to say is that he got a Legend of Zelda tattoo, and it looks fan freaking tastic. He got uh, the Triforce around a sort of splashed ink type thing. I'll put a picture on screen now. It is pretty awesome. In the Hylian text underneath, it actually spells out his son's name of Corey, which is it's really cool considering I don't even know Hylian. Which I should do. I should freaking learn it. Anyway, does that, did uh, Tetris say there's something to do with searchlights here? Hmm. Well, obviously, we can see them. I don't know. There seems to be some nice 20... Oh, God! 